Good morning. My name is Emmanuel Tumani from Tanzania Meteorological Agency, bringing you again the 12 hours weather bulletin. And today we expect the wind to dominate from the Indian Ocean, uh, blowing from southeast and running speed of 20 to 5 kilometers as the wind enters in the country. And actually today we expect some part of the country, especially the western side, southwestern and southern region, to feature heavy rain showers with thunderstorms. Otherwise, the remaining party will be featuring uh, rain showers. And today, maximum temperature over some selected cities will be, as you can see from the map, Dar es Salaam is going to have 40 degrees Celsius, while Mbeya 33 and Kilimanjaro will be having 42. Mbeya and Kilimanjaro were, in the past years, the coldest areas in the country, but due to the effects of climate change, temperature has significantly risen to that level. And according to the research done by different climate scientists, we can see the trend of positive change of temperature is likely to go on. We are in 2050 and we expect the change to be positive and therefore this planet is going to be much hotter over some areas including Tanzania. And the areas with the increase of temperatures are likely to have increase of rainfall and the vice versa is true. And according to the climate change we are going to experience difficult, different impacts including malaria which is going to be the biggest problem for the entire country food insecurity for both for humans and livestock as well we are going to have food shortage this is going to be a problem for both er people over the urban areas and the rural areas otherwise other sectors like energy and tourism will be affected as you can see example of mount kilimanjaro which is the beautiful mountain in africa with the beautiful ice cap on top of it is going to deplete and the greener part around it is going to completely uh, be washed away and the animal the wildlife you can see are in desperate condition as they are looking for food and uh, for water otherwise you can see the ice cap of it of the mount kilimanjaro is completely uh, is completely under destruction and the sea level rise is also going to be the biggest problem in the country and some people will have to shifting from their from their normal habitats to other areas frequent floods is also going to be the biggest problem in the country due to heavy rains over some areas climate change is real it's global and it's local there are causes for the climate change we have caused the climate change due to different anthropogenic activities including deforestation including poor agricultural practice including use of uh, of unfriendly energy sources and therefore we need to change we need to find the best way to adopt the best way to stop and so that we can have the green and the beautiful planet to live there are issues that we need to to adopt like uh, afforestation many areas which are bare should be planted with trees and people should now start immediately using the greener source of energy the renewable sources and people should be aware and should start using the best agricultural practices and people should also actually think of and start to implement the issues of uh, uh, modernization of the towns uh, human settlement should be in a proper manner so that we don't disturb or destroy or we don't build it in areas which are very vulnerable to the sea level rise and other areas otherwise thank you very much and I wish you the beautiful day. Thank you and see you, see you see you again next time. Climate change is affecting the weather everywhere. It makes it more extreme and disturbs established patterns. That means more disasters, more uncertainty. We can reduce the risks by cutting global greenhouse gas emissions and building low carbon economies. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.